Being a musician and being able to play by ear is arguably one of the best and most useful skills you can have. But how useful is it? Well, I'm going to give myself 20 minutes to work out the top 10 most streamed songs on Spotify. So let's get into it. Headphones on. So, number 10 is Save Your Tears by The Weeknd. Okay, verses four chords, C, A minor, E minor, and G. That's pretty straightforward. So there's like a different set of chords for the pre-chorus, which are D minor, A minor, F, and then G. But then it goes straight back to the same chords for the chorus, which is pretty standard these days. Obviously, I only have two minutes per song, so that doesn't even give me enough time to listen through the whole song. You have the presumption that people care what you say. They don't. So I'm just going to guess that there's another verse and another chorus. But here's number 10. Okay, number nine is Heat Waves by Glass Animals. So this is another one with four chords, which I think is C sharp minor, B major, G sharp minor, and then F sharp major. So this is one of those songs that literally uses the same chord sequence throughout the entire thing. So it's just a case of trying to work out what the melody is. Unfortunately, that's pretty repetitive as well. So here's song number nine. Song number eight is Rockstar by Post Malone. I mean, the verse for this, it's kind of rapping, but it's melodic rapping, so you can get away with playing it on the piano. And it's two chords, which are G minor and E flat major. So once again, the verse and the chorus both use the same chord, so it's just a case of working out the melody. So here's song number eight. to song number seven and that is another Post Malone song called Sunflower. So this one also has two chords which are D and G and they are the same for the entire song so it's pretty much like every other pop song. So this is song number seven.
six is Dance Monkey by Tones and I. We have some actual piano. So it's F sharp minor, D major, E major, C sharp minor. That was dreadful. Okay, here is song number six. A bit less accurate because there's more melody to try and remember but there's number six okay so number five is someone you loved by lewis capaldi So this is four chords, D flat major, A flat major, B flat minor, and G flat major, which is once again just the normal four chord sequence. This is another one that has quite a lot of melody to try and remember, but this is number five. Next up is Despacito by Mr. Fonzi. So once again, this is another four chord song. It's B minor, G, D major, and A major. Okay, this is Despacito.
Next, we are down to number three, which is Perfect by Ed Sheeran. Once again, another classic four chord sequence, which is A flat major, F minor, D flat major, and then E flat major. So here is number three. Next up at number two is Blinding Lights by The Weeknd. Okay, so for this one we're in F minor and the chords are F minor, C minor, E flat major, B flat major. Okay, this one's pretty straightforward. So this is number two, Blinding Lights. So that leaves us with number one, which is the most streamed song on Spotify, and that is Shape of You by Ed Sheeran. Yet another four chord banger, which is C sharp minor, F sharp minor, A major, and then B major. And the actual hook for this is quite straightforward as well, because it's just kind of two notes. And then three notes. Okay, here we go, Shape of You. And there you go, so that is the top 10 most played songs on Spotify, worked out by ear in 20 minutes. If you want to watch me work out Playing God by Polyphia, which is a very hard guitar song, in just 30 minutes, then check out this video and I will see you there.